How you guys doing? This is Real Sensi. Today we're here with the late ones. How you guys doing? Yee! Chilling, man. Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah, Appreciate man. It. Thank you guys so much for coming down. Right. Before we get started, we just want to thank our sponsors, Puff Sauce, Boundless Tech, and Red Feathers Farms, always hooking us up. Big you up, big up. You. Yeah. Thank you so much, the late ones. How are you guys doing? Good. We're good, Thank man. Thank you guys Chilling. for coming down. We appreciate all you guys. Thank, Thank you guys you. for having us. <laughs> appreciate it. Um, how'd you guys all get your start in music? Um, I would just say we're just growing up around music. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandma just playing oldies and just like always subliminally there. It was always just there in our lives. And then um, in Hawaii, uh, we were rapping a lot and I wanted to start a reggae band. So we basically just put the two together mm -hmm. and fused it. Yeah, so that's awesome. Me, me and Josh had been rapping before. Um, my brother wanted to do that mm -hmm. um, in LA. And when I moved to Hawaii, he told me that. It was like, cool, let's do it. Let's bring Josh out. And my dad, yeah. he was, you know, he was down with it. And once Josh came, then we just started to really just set it off in Hawaii. And basically awesome. just, yeah, just basically like playing every venue and any yeah, spot that we could on that island, on Oahu, Definitely. you know? That's awesome. And that's where. It really started. It was there. Yeah. Definitely. And, mm -hmm. you know, connecting to your roots and it's like a whole family thing, you know, and just spreading your love. For sure. Just the <clears throat> amazing music you guys all portray. So that's amazing. Yeah, definitely. When did you guys first realize you guys wanted to take reggae music seriously? I, I say maybe around that same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Probably around, around that same time. It was definitely. around, yeah, when we, when we first started, um... I we just got really connected with the Rastafari message basically, and then just started writing these songs, mm -hmm. and then I'm just like, dang, boy, because at the time, yeah, at the place. time we were really just rapping, we weren't yeah. really yeah. singing, and then we were probably just jamming out on a guitar, yeah. but yeah, yeah, once I started um, writing those lyrics, and then my, you know, just Definitely. those topics, is yeah, yeah. It all fall yeah. into place, and so. the music and um, your guys' message, you guys portray is amazing. Right. Uh, Thank you. Beautiful message. So yeah. you guys got to check them out. The late yeah. ones. Hey, yeah, dude. So how did you guys come up with your name? Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> so um, one of our friends back home in Hawaii, uh, Liko, he went to uh, Miami for school. And I guess like he was uh, rapping with some kids or something. And he mm -hmm. thought that this kid said um, the late ones in his freestyle and asked him after, was like, did you say the late ones? And he's like, nah, I said something else. And he's like, oh, I thought you said the late ones. <laughs> And then when he moved back to Hawaii, he told us that story, and he was saying how, like, that would be tight, like, for, like, a name, yeah. like, for, like, a band sure or something. Does. And at that time, we were doing shows we and, like, going by Tui and the guys, or, like, yeah, Tui, like, Tui <laughs> them. Yeah. Or, like, Tui, awesome. yeah. <laughs> yeah, or, like, Tui and the lay ones, or, like... I'm sw I, I swear there's like a f there's a flyer in our house in Hawaii that says it. It Two says days. that on the flyer, yeah, for like surfer bar or something. But anyways, awesome. we were like right there, you know, in that spot to where we didn't know what we were going to go with. Yeah. And it was kind of like, that was kind of like a six story. Like, and then we like kind of agreed, like, that would be a tight name. Yeah. And then just kind of just like, uh, I don't know. Just happened. <laughs> so, well, we like kind of like flipped it and made it to where it was like we're paying homage to the late ones, like the ones yeah, that passed yeah. on before us. That's awesome. Who like have just blazed their own trail, and then we're just like giving props and yeah, big ups to thanks. them. And it's like we're just like the three that's just like letting people know. Oh yeah, yeah. that's that, awesome. Know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, straight up. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's sick. So, what kind of things do you guys like to do to get inspired to write music? Um. <laughs> Most definitely smoke, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's first and foremost, one. you know what I mean, smoking, uh, and then other stuff, like stuff we grew up doing, skating, yeah. playing ball, you know, just hanging around each other, vibing off each other's vibes, you know what I mean, Yeah, having a good that. time, you know, yeah, just yeah. being us. <laughs> that's awesome. Beach, basketball, yeah. skating, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Amazing, you always got to be yourself, you know, and it really shows like how like genuine you guys are and like through your music too. So it's yeah. awesome. What was the process behind creating your guys' 2015 EP, Relevate? Um, you said the process, yeah. Um, it was actually pretty fast. We already had the <laughs> songs like there. Um, mm -hmm. once we like got everything good with the record label, we were at um, at that time, I think it was the EKM. Mm -hmm. Um, 
We got everything right with them, recorded them in about, I would say, like a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. yeah. They were done. That's awesome. Yeah, because we had already written all the stuff. The songs were basically ready. made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just how to record it. That's yeah. awesome. And it shows, too, you know? Right. Yeah. Every song, you know, yeah. you guys uh, put a lot of hard work into it. That so. was a good one. Like, th those songs needed to come out, too, Definitely. at that time. I was just about to say, like, the, like we had been doing those songs for, a like, a little while. Yeah. Like, those were, like, our bread and butter, mm -hmm. you know? Definitely. So it was like, all right, let's just go record it. Like, we already yeah. know the parts. Like, yeah. let's just lay it down. Down, yeah, you know? you know, just show it to the world and yeah. let everyone experience it yeah. for themselves. That's awesome. Yeah, and like I don't know, it was just, <coughs> it was just like a cool moment because that's like the first, like we had recorded before, yeah, like definitely. in other spots. Yeah, I mean, no, yeah, like, but you know, like that was like the, like this is gonna go out like yes. some real shit right here. <laughs> this ain't like just like for us, yeah. for like just songs to have like this play that beat change. that we. That's yeah, awesome. this is like yeah. actually going now. So like that's it was crazy. just like dog. <laughs> It that's like amazing. felt good. It felt better that's to do awesome. it. Like yo, that's about awesome. to be sick. Yeah. It's really good for mm -hmm. you guys, honestly. Like keep it up, honestly. What you guys are doing, keep Thank grinding you. on the daily, and yeah. it'll, it'll pay off. You know. Yeah, <clears throat> I hear that. Yeah. How would you guys describe your music to someone who's never heard it before? I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would say. I would say with a. I don't know. Like definitely. I would say, yeah, it's like Bob, there you go. NWA, and yeah. Like yeah. Hits the Machine. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. A little flair. Yeah. A little flavor. Cool. Yeah. I like that. We represent all, like, areas all of music. Like, it, that's one of our goals to not get boxed in to mm -hmm. even, well, to anything. But, yeah, but definitely not one genre of music. Yeah. Just fuse it all together. Yeah. Until that's it how becomes you gotta just do it, music, yeah. yeah. I love that, like how you guys put that into words, you know, like mm -hmm. a reggae fusion, you know, right, yeah. different right. cultures. Right, 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 right. So you guys just dropped a new album with Guidance. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the other day. Shout out to the boys. Juby! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael! <laughs> Sick. Yeah, you guys man. You want to talk how that came about? We were just talking about yeah, it. So we, like how we came. Yeah, so um, our agent at the time, Robbie Boggs, was doing work with them. And um, we linked up with them. We went down to their cave. It's like this cave mm -hmm. um, below Cervantes in, in Denver. That's crazy. And we go down there, and it's just a whole musical, just like little wonderland. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Yeah. Right. And yeah. <laughs> like, well, it's like a You're behind, like, what? Like the, the venue, like downstairs <laughs> through like a couple hallways. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So we just started, I think we stayed there for like a week or two for yeah. some reason. So every day we were just going down there and they just had beats and we were just like, all right, just let's just on. go. <laughs> and then that was about a year or so ago. So now it just got released. So yeah. this is fire. Yeah, dude, it or, came out. I was listening yeah. to all those fire. No, I was just going to say like, those are just songs that were kind of just like chilling too that we yeah. had did. That's and they were like, yo, we got to put these out there sick. Yeah. And it was, you know, it was good to... Yeah. To get Crosses. it out. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. That's awesome. That's super cool. Guidance. How have these um, artists help form the people you are today? Um, You mean artists that just, like, influence us? Like, yeah. I'm yeah, sorry about No, that. no, you're fine. <laughs> um, In all ways, like, I feel like we're very open people, so we're, like, sponges. Mm -hmm. And, like, anything Definitely. good that comes out of any artist or anybody, we try to, like, take Absolutely in. Yep. Yeah, and then just, like, put it right back out. Um, definitely yeah that's awesome. it's really that energy and mm -hmm. that's why we're the late ones for sure because <laughs> that's they're definitely with us and like yes. we can feel that like power everyone's they're energy with you us. know yep. and it we're builds off all these different reggae artists you guys yeah. all build off of each other yeah awesome is there anyone you guys would want to collaborate with but haven't had the chance to collaborate <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you got? Most deaf, uh, <laughs> let's see. Most deaf for sure. Most what about Protege? Protege. Yeah. Shouts out to Protege. I mean, Erica Badu, yeah. of course, you know. Uh, Kendrick, Frighteners. Uh, who else? The list just goes on and on. It's like so many, you know? I'd like to get one with like Tribal Seeds too. Tribal Seeds would be dumb. Be sick. Um, That'd be insane. Yeah. <laughs> but the Free Nationals. Anderson oh, Pack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Hey. <laughs> Link up. <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, what are your main themes or goals when it comes to writing music? Um, I think most of all is just to be conscious, really, and to like talk about the things that are going on in the world. Because I think reggae has always been that. Roots reggae has always been a vessel for like telling what's going on in the world, you know. Yeah. So that's basically what we're trying to do right now. Because I feel like. 
um, it needs to be said right now. Exactly. And w- some people can't understand it through just like regular talk, but through the music, it, yep. it hits differently. And exactly. You can get them it's to understand something. When yeah. You feel it through the music. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, how do you balance your daily life with your music life? <laughs> No. How do we do it? Yeah. How do we? That's just life. It's 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 the same. It's the, yeah, it's the yeah. same thing, man. Like trying to uh, do good on both sides. Yeah. Like you know, trying to handle the music side and yeah, and always balance. Basically, you yeah. just gotta get yeah. yeah for sure until it blows up. Like we know it's gonna do, but you know we're just still being patient right now. Right. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because you you know you got all this time in life you know to sure. do whatever you know have a good time yeah. just hang out and <laughs> <laughs> show how you are yeah have you guys um well you guys have been on tour but what would you guys say is your most memorable experience being on tour <laughs> so many crazy things right. happen on tour so um many, I bet honestly. I really like the tours that we do with the elevators every time we link up with them. And then Nako Bear also. Yeah, Nako yeah. put yeah. us on awesome. to some big <laughs> shows. Those were the first, those were like the first tours where it really kind of showed you was, what's yeah, up. Like, That's how yeah, you do yeah, it. Like yeah, and That's it was awesome. like a real thing. We were like, dang, dude, these guys brought us out to like this tour with like this many people, like sold out like every night of the week. And we're just like, dang, wow. for this guy to bring us out here, he's like, and obviously that, thinks amazing. that like we're gonna be doing good so yeah oh, okay. so it was crazy shout out to nako that hey. is amazing to big up elevator boy honestly <laughs> that's amazing yeah we're <laughs> big up to reggae community yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, what was it like being asked to play um a couple sugar shack sessions <laughs> that's so awesome <laughs> it was go ahead well, it was pretty cool the boys um Shouts out to yeah! Shouts out to the Sugar Shack fam. Yeah. Oh, it was pretty cool. We oh, we met them in. Um, let's see. Yeah. We <laughs> met them in. Uh, I just remember that song. We met them in South Carolina. They were doing like the Cali Roots thing mm-hmm. on the East Coast, I think, at that time. Mm-hmm. And the whole crew rolled through and um, met us and everything. And then after that, they just told us to stop by um, in Bonita Springs, where they live out in Florida. Mm-hmm. That's what we did, that first revolution, like, slow-mo one. That's awesome. Yeah, and, like, yeah. the thunder and sun <laughs> and high power. And then, like, after that, it was just fully linked. And, like, it wasn't even on, like, like business type thing. They are just, like, the yeah. homies. And it, it was just, just like, up, dope. Honestly. Yeah. You know, they were chill, too. So, just, like, yeah, these it are cool people. Let's, let's, let's go over there, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Perfect venue, perfect music, you yeah. know, and it all, it was yeah. amazing, you know. I think we got awesome. some works coming up with them um, in 2022, so look excited. out for that. You gotta look Check out for boys. that. Check, <laughs> I'm excited. Slow-mo. Another slow-mo take. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. that one take. <laughs> Other oh, fire. Yeah. So is there any advice you would give the aspiring musicians trying to do what you do? Just keep doing it. Just go. Keep going. Yeah, Don't self-doubt. Yeah, so, self-doubt is definitely real, but you always got to keep going for sure, especially for artists. We definitely are always in our heads, like, way too much, but yeah. just got to put it out. Push yeah, dude. Push, 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 push. Straight up. That's off. the biggest thing. Yeah, because a lot of people give up, too. They, like, give up maybe right before they, like, right before they get there. Like, yeah. dang, dude. Right so. Support the local artists, man. Exactly. Like, support local reggae. Without support the locals. <laughs> locals only. Straight up. That's good. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's the future. It's all about the, the community. Future. The future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for us though. It really is for, the for them though. For us. You them. Do you them? You them. So big up youths. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> all right. So what do you think has been the most challenging thing you've had to experience through the whole music music industry? I would say for sure this album that's about to come out right now. Um and like this shows in the songs that are on there as well, just like that long process. Um, it's a lot of, some of these songs are like the first songs we ever wrote, like 10 years old. And like yeah. they really like hold that power. And you can tell um, when you listen to the album. Shout out to Easy Star Records for signing oh, yeah. us. They really um, backed us on this one. So, you know, that just made the belief in us yeah. go like tenfold. We're like, man. Oh, yeah. But um, yeah, that's probably the most challenging thing, just putting out this album. We never have yeah. before. So. After yeah, this, it tough. should get a lot easier, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys are just pushing, you know. That's yeah. what it takes, so. Oh, For yeah. sure. Big ups. And, like, reaching, you know, your full potential, you know, because you could always, you know, do better and always, like, mm-hmm. keep grinding, you For know, sure. reaching, um, 
different um, genres, you know, and just how so you're just different styles, you know. So definitely. that's awesome. What is your um, favorite thing about the whole reggae scene? The, well, yeah, the message that we about to bring back. <laughs> the roots got to get brought back for sure. <laughs> but you, you know, it. but yeah, just the people for sure in the scene. All great people, great musicians too as well. Definitely. Some of the people, like, it's so crazy. We're in Hawaii just, like, you know, doing our thing. Mm -hmm. But, like, we listen to these okay, artists, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we move here and we're just, like, doing shows with them. They're, like, our homies and, like, know right? all of you. I'm like, that's crazy. we just used to listen to you guys right? before. Like, now you guys are just our homies. Like, that's amazing. Yeah, right? hey. We're talking to you guys. It's crazy, Honestly. though. I chill out. It's amazing. Out. Awesome how yeah. life is, you know? <laughs> that's sure. awesome. Yeah. Right. Can we expect any new music from you guys in the next couple months? Yes, new for album. sure. The album the for album sure should out. be hopefully mid 2020. We'll yeah. see. Mm -hmm. We're just finishing up, making yeah. sure everything's right. That's awesome. Know? But yeah. um, definitely, well, yeah, the guidance stuff for sure. And then we'll definitely probably be putting out a couple more things before the album. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, and there you go. Well. Like, yeah, we're that's trying, just the start. Keep it going. We try to work on the second. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Trying to get the next one going. Hell yeah. Sure. yeah one after another. Like. That's yep. how you do it. Yep. Awesome. Now's the time. The late ones. Yeah. Let's check them out. <laughs> Much love. Yeah. Much love. Is there anyone you guys would like to shout out that oh, has helped you what? throughout your process? Shout out to my parents, my mom and my dad, Kama June, Tamiko, Johnny Black. Shout out to Information, Golden State Greens. Shout out to G Bird them down there. Uh but Easy Star, Rolo, Rigo. Shout out to uh Kobe. Oh, Shout out to Kobe. Kobe. Rest in and peace. his daughter. Yo. Bless. Yeah, sure. Uh man. shout out my grandpa, Pops. Uh Nipsey Hustle. Nipsey Hustle, man. <laughs> shout out Kingston. Shout out Zaz. Kingston, his son. Shout out Dev. Shout out my girl. Hey. Fabiola. <laughs> hey. Shout out God. Y'all forget about God. Shout out God. Hey. <laughs> my boy. Yeah, shout out to you guys for having us for real. Man, Straight up. up. Thank, Thank you guys. You. Shout out to Hawk. Shout out to Hawk. Shout out to Sunny. Hey, my boy. <laughs> shout out to Clue. Shout out to Kane. Shout out to A. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> shout out to Guidance. Hey, shout out to uh, Just keep shoot, going, Elevator. Yeah. Shout out to Nako. <laughs> shout out to Mayday. Shout out to Through the Roots. Shout hey. out to uh, hey, so everybody. Many. So many. Man, what? By Marley. Everyone supporting hey. the late ones, you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> All the late ones, man. Shoot. Straight up. Man. Yeah, man, definitely. And since we're real sensi, we gotta ask, what's your favorite strain? Oh, I just smoked some stuff called Dosi Do from oh, yeah. a little spot that I'm working at. <laughs> Never tried it. That's fine. But it was fire. <laughs> on some organic candy land. Hey. Shit's pretty fire. <laughs> Flight, pure flame. Hell yeah. I would say the widows for me. Any widows? That's White fire. widows. White widows. Or the cheese. The cheese. Oh, <laughs> cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Tea. <laughs> then we lock you in a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> I got out. I got out. Oh, God. Hell yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys. Make sure man. you guys check out the guidance album, Dove Caves Sessions 1. Yes. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Pick up the boys. Out now. Later everywhere. ones. Real Sissy OG. Yee. Yee. One love. Much love. Yes. Hey. Sick. That was fire.